By North Africa, Tunisia's Nobel Peace Prize winning UGTT Labour Union opened a key annual congress to debate strategy in future and elect a new leader. Now, the roughly 500 delegates there are set to choose a replacement for Hussein Abbasi. He's headed the union since 2011, just months after the fall of the then president, Ben Ali. Now, with more than half a million members, the UGTT played a huge and important role in the 2013 dialogue that salvaged Tunisia's democratic transition. Two former UGTC officials are now serving in the cabinet of Prime Minister Youssef Shahed, but the union has retained its aggressive activist outlook. A public sector wage freeze last year prompted it, in fact, to threaten to go on a general strike. It's a decisive moment when we hand over what has been entrusted to us in the hope that we lived up to the trust that was put in us at the last Congress in Tabarka. There's still more discussions, more consensus. That's our mentality. The mentality of our trade unions is always dialogue. We have no other choice but to dialogue between social partners and also with the government, whatever it may be.